Hello everyone and welcome back to Dynamics Academy. This is yet another video in a feature a day video series. In this video series we will cover the new features that were released with Microsoft Dynamics 365 9.0 version. On your screen you are able to see the various new features that were released in 9.0 version of Dynamics 365. We will see each of these feature in detail per video in this series. And at the same time, we will also see the various deprecations that are going to happen with Dynamics 365 9.0 version release. So this series is going to be very much useful and informative. So let us now see the feature that we are going to cover in this video. And the feature that we are going to cover in this video is changes in the subgrid controls with Dynamics 365 9.0 version. Here we'll see the specific changes that were made in Microsoft Dynamics 365 9.0 version related to subgrid controls. Let me now begin this video by setting up the agenda. First we will see what are the changes in the subgrid controls that has been done in Microsoft Dynamics 365 9.0 version and after that I will show you practically how to implement those changes in your Dynamics 365 instance. The new default look and feel of subgrid controls has been updated to fit into the new design language of Dynamics 365. You can now configure the header colors. You can also define the boundaries of subgrid controls by specifying the borders and you can do all this by using the same configuration option as previous Dynamics versions such as data source views, charting options, row span and so forth. Now you can specify the borders as well as the header colors of a particular subgrid controls. The design feels a lot less cluttered in particularly with new borders and white space reducing. So this is a typical contact form on Dynamics 365 instance 9.0 version as of now without modifying any subgrids. You can see there are two subgrids on your screen, the recent opportunities and recent cases subgrid. So after changes, you will be able to configure header colors and you can also define the boundaries by specifying the borders also. So many of you would feel that this feature will not be useful much, but think from a end user's perspective. If you have multiple subgrids on a particular form, then it would be meaningful to give them some kind of color coding and which previously required some custom coding as well as HTML and CSS manipulation in your Dynamics 365. But now you can achieve by simply configuring the header colors of a particular subgrid. So let me now show you practically how you can achieve this in our Dynamics 365 instance. This is my trial instance. So now I will navigate to a contact. So I'm going to active contact and here if you open a one particular record, I open a one particular contact record. Here you can see there are two subgrids, opportunities as well as cases. So let me now change the header color for the cases subgrid. So in order to make changes to the form, you need to click this form editor option if you are a system customizer or system administrator you will get this button and after opening the form editor you need to navigate to the subgrid that you want to modify in our case i want to modify the cases subgrid i will double click it by selecting it after selecting it so here you can see there is a specific new control has been added called panel 
header color so now you need to provide the hexadecimal value for that color that you are targeting so for green color i know the hexadecimal value if you do not know you can search simply on the google the hexadecimal value for the color that you are targeting it will return you the hexadecimal value of that color and you can copy and paste that uh, hexadecimal value and you can also see that particular color will be displayed in this sample box as well so if you try to enter any other value the form assistant will tell you that the color is not valid use the hexadecimal value so you have to use only the correct hexadecimal value and click ok after clicking ok you can save and publish this so after saving and publishing it you need to refresh your existing screen now you can see that the color header has been changed for case subgrid this is how you can change the header color for that subgrid these were very few changes in the subgrid control and this will add a lot more value from user interface and user interaction perspective so having said that i will wind up this video and i hope that you have learned something new out of this video and if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and please do share this video with all your friends and colleagues those who are working in dynamics 365 or those who wants to start their career in microsoft dynamics 365 which is one of the hottest and trending technology in the market today on that note i take your leave and please do subscribe dynamics academy and take very good care of your health and belongings i hope to see you all in our next video till then bye bye and take care